to Robert Halfen, the chair of the Education Select Committee in Parliament. He joins a number of prominent business leaders who believe the current education system is outdated and that young people in the UK need a wider range of skills suitable to today's competitive job market. Well, Charles Parker is CEO of the Baker Deering Educational Trust and uh, joins us now. Charles Parker, thanks for talking to us. Um, do you agree with the chair of the Education Select Committee? Well, I think he's right, but he's making a very big ask of the system because GCSEs have recently been overhauled. But what is certainly true is that they are the moment where schools are measured in terms of how they are seen to do and how their teachers are judged. Whereas given that the law says that everybody should be in some form of education or training until they're 18, it seems to me that what needs to happen is that that is the stage where schools are judged. But he is absolutely right. GCSEs were designed for the time when schooling ended at 16. So why have they been overhauled in such a way that they still retain this kind of central role rather than moving it to 18? Well, you'd have to ask others that. You'd have to ask the policymakers who make these decisions. Um, I'm involved with technical schools that run from 14 to 19. We've been around for about eight years and we exist in order to educate students who are, right, who are well educated for the modern economy when they leave at 18. So what matters to us is what happens to them at that point. But we all have to suffer GCSEs, unfortunately. Now, if Rob can achieve their, at any rate, their downplaying in terms of the way that schools are measured and judged, that would be wonderful. And you don't need to go far to find teachers who would agree with that. So, um, obviously, given that your role in technical colleges, you, is your argument that more people should be getting vocational skills in our economy? Well, my argument is that more people should be offered a high-quality technical education because that is what the modern economy needs. I mean, there are any number of statistics about hard-to-fill vacancies and the skills shortage of youngsters going into the system with the right kind of education. So what we have done with university technical colleges is to design that within the range of the system, of course, because we are state-funded academies. But what we do is almost in spite of this very high-stakes moment at GCSEs, but we do it anyway. So just to, you know, because we haven't got the Department of Education sitting in the room at this precise moment, just to quote what they say, they say GCSEs are the gold standard. Well, they do say that, and that is, that is the truth, because as I have just said, schools are measured by what happens to their students at the age of 16, which is curious given that the government's own law is that you have to stay in education or training until you are 18. So it just seems to me that the two things are out of step. And so going back then to what you're trying to do and where Robert Halfham seems to be trying to move the system, I mean, he's talking about are young people who are knowledge engaged for the 21st century. I mean, what does that exactly mean, the idea of knowledge engaged? Well, I think it means what used to rather rudely be called soft skills, as well as what you know. So you have to know what, and you also have to know how. They're both knowledge. Skills are essentially knowing how to do things. And what we seek to do is to educate folk at university technical colleges in spite of the fact that the exam system and the qualifications are very much still engaged with no what. And quite a lot of the what is a long way out of date. So we work with employers who actually know what's needed and we fit that in in a long school day. And it's a tremendous challenge for the teachers, but we are getting there. And so our 18-year-olds are precisely what the economy needs. And for four years running, we've had these amazing destinations with only 3% of them drawing job seekers allowance, which by ever any standard is fantastic. And they are going into the areas, the apprenticeships, which have degrees attached to them, which make a tremendous sense to them because they are employed as apprentices and therefore paid, and also emerge at the other end of a four- or five-year training course with a degree and no debt. I mean, it's a fantastic model, and it's because it's needed. Charles Parker, thank you. Um, now, just a quick word from uh, Downing Street.